I'm Ann McEvick at the Live News Desk. And San Francisco's Mayor London Breed just made an announcement about a huge cash offer for people who are uh, helping with a tip leading to the arrest of somebody responsible for one of the many car break-ins in San Francisco. Taking a live look at the city right now, you could get up to $100,000 to help take down one of the organized criminal fencing operations known to fuel vehicle smash and grabs. All the money coming from private donors and the hospitality and tourism industry, people that are sick of what they've been seeing. They've raised $225,000 so far. The problem, all too obvious, videos posted to social media showing that theft only takes a few seconds and witnesses or drivers passing by don't even seem to deter burglars day or night. Some people in the marina have even begun paying for a private security guard to patrol their neighborhoods. On Friday, dash cam video caught repeated smash and grabs in Fisherman's Wharf at Beach Street in Columbus awaiting Black Audi followed closely before the suspect eventually hopped in. The criminals are committing these acts in broad daylight in this city and they think that they can get away with it. And the goal is to make sure that they know eyes and ears are on the streets and we're not going to let them get away with it. Now on Friday, a high-profile incident popular Australian singer Clinton Kane, the victim of a robbery in Cow Hollow when he tried to stop it, he ended up with a gun to his head. Thieves made off with more than $30,000 worth of camera equipment. Now police say they believe there are fewer than a dozen major criminal fencing operations responsible for the vast majority of car break-ins around the entire Bay Area over the last couple of years. We'll see if this puts a dent in it. Back to you.